Man, what are you doing in Mongolia, bro? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so what you do here in Mongolia? Uh, huh? So the milk, they put salt in it. And these are, oh, man, these are folks from Northern. I used, I used to like your team, especially the food, the it's soccer. Used to like, what you used to like, bro? Well, you know, the brain all the time will shift. Yeah. Texas, where, where Texas? You? I play Texas. Texas. Where? Bro, nice I don't want to go to Europe. <laughs> no, no. Mongolians are tall. You see how tall they are? They are tall. So welcome to Mongolia again. I'm in the hotel. So it's called the Bayangol Hotel. So the country itself, they say, have like a 3.5 million and the 1.5, they live in this capital, making it the most high density capital in the world. That's why there's too much traffic. That, and this is where people can get job, especially young people, they're moving here to live here. And that's where they have most of the school. That way have, they have the the government, the central government. There is also a Brazil coffee there. So probably I will go there. That's the one there. I'm there to this coffee shop here and it say Brazil. And I like the color because, you know, the color of Brazil is a blue and the yellow. If you know Brazil soccer team, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go inside here and take some coffee, uh, not coffee. Probably I would take something different. I'm not a good coffee drinker. I need coffee. Coffee. You have a decaf? No coffee? Decaf? Now let's take something different here. I'll take this one here. I don't know what is that, but I'll take this one. So, Makka. So, Makka. Ah, coffee. Cappuccino. Ah, in coffee. Mild coffee. Ah. Sure. What is that? Signature <laughs> premium latte. See, this is coffee. Latte. China? China. China? Or Russia? You Brazil? Brazil? You? Brazilian? No? In Burton, Neto. In Burton? Yeah, it's all about the battery, Neto. And the lady inside there, wearing green. She was saying no, 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 no to the camera. Then later, I don't know even what is this, this. I don't know. I also bought a cracker. It's like the Oreos. And then what I did, I gave one to her and then she changed to smile and I could take the video. <laughs> so be kind to people. Look for something that will make them interactive more. So that's what I do. They still laughing inside there. So um, let me show you downtown. Good.
So I'm gonna show you something strange here. With all this traffic, people are gonna cross there. They line up and they're gonna cross like a bunch of them, a lot of people crossing at once. So with all this traffic you see here, there is one hope. And the hope is the light to turn green and the one we cross. Last night I was here, everyone is, is crossing here, like a lot of them crossing at the same time. But wait, I don't know when it's gonna turn green, but it really takes time. As you can see, this, this street is so, so busy, very busy. But let's see, you have some the other side there who are waiting to cross the other side and you have this side too, yeah. they are waiting to cross, so we'll see. Now it's green, look, oh my goodness, look. immediately changes wow and it changed already so i was told that most of mongolian youth they have the dream of america they want to go to america and uh, to find a good life so they try to learn english there is even a guy who told me that he even went to a church like an English church, so that he can practice his English. But most of the youth here, from what I heard, they wanna, they live in the capital city. And again, I will keep repeating here, Mongolia is so huge. However, what, the population of Mongolia is 3.5. And you know where 1.5 million lives? Here, Ulaanbaatar. That's how they said it. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. What do you see behind me here? Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Is it here? In Oland Batar. It's very hard in Mongolia to know what is what because the scriptures are written in Mongolian and I think it's Russian too so probably Russian can read that but that's the only uh, language that they write there so it's very hard to know what is this building for and you know what if you ask people they won't respond to you because they don't know English unless you know a little bit of Russian, then they can accommodate that. Otherwise, they what is this building here? Here. It's a 
Ging es kann? No? No. Well, yeah. Communication, it's very hard. When you ask, they won't tell you. What is this building here? Library. Library? Oh, okay. So it's a library. <laughs> It's the National Library, so I, I, I had no idea. I was looking like a museum. So, yeah, there is a nice lady who just tell me there. Let's see next then. So that's the guy there and it says the art desk, the guardian, the Broadway wall, the beyond the curtain, theater, weekly, something. What is this place here? This? No? Sir, what is this building? Museum? Uh, theater. Theater? Uh -huh. Oh. It's just very hard sometimes to know. But they have some characters that are written in English there. So it's, it's a beautiful building. I don't know how old it is, but it looks really gorgeous and more artistic. So we're gonna go the other side. But I have no internet, nothing. What I know, the hotel is somewhere here. <laughs> if I lose it, that's it. I will see how to find it. So they, they were raising all this tall building and they told me that most of the apartments that are here, 99% are Mongolian, especially youth who are coming to look for job here in Ulaanbaatar. So wherever you go in Mongolia, you will not miss him. And he was promoted recently because of, from what I heard, the communist, which was under the, the Soviet, didn't want to hear anything about him. It was until late that they started promoting him. And uh, you can see Genghis Khan. And uh, in some places, they will start with a G there <laughs> only if you want to learn more about them come to mongolia <laughs> and this i heard the way you pronounce it this is a muted and you say han han so it is Kinges han yeah i think i said it right And you have the city center here. And the capital city, they say it, I think, Ulan Bat Is it Ulan Batar or Ulan Bata? Yeah. How, how you say it? Ulan Bata. Ulan Bata. 
So you say Ulan Bata, Ulan, Ulan Bata. That's how they say it. So sometimes we just uh, talk it in a wrong way. Anyway, it's the capital city and this is like the city center. And it's just beautiful when you're in the middle of the city. The way they build the city. And I'm gonna take you around here so that you can see more about the buildings, high buildings, like a skyscrapers. And, and most of them are apartments. And I heard that these apartments, young people who come to work here. And they also have those scooters. You rent on the app and you pay on the app, then you just come and take it and go around which is very important but you know what sometimes it can create laziness and the work reduces we need to work sometime how much you you pay online on the phone yeah. ah perfect I think those guys there, they just got arrested them or somehow. So this is the self-identified building. It is saying Mongol post. So pretty much the post office, but below they have kind of uh, flower shops and they have a kind of other small businesses. But they think you can enter there. They say they have a tourist info center. Maybe I should go there and ask. Okay, I'm gonna follow these guys. Oh, it's green. So they have this here. They say tourist. Info center. I don't know the entrance. So I went inside to ask if uh, the tourist center is open. They told me that probably it's closed, but the post office is inside there. They have the EMS. So, yeah, but it's a very huge building. You speak English? English? No? English? So, where is the, the museum? Yeah. Where is the museum? Yeah, where is the museum? Yeah. Oh, that's too much. I'm gonna get lost. You are, you are the boss. You are the boss. 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 Uh, or student. No. Student. No. Uh, because you have expensive. Uh, you are shed very expensive. Okay. So what you do here in uh, Mongolia? I'm banker. Huh? Oh, you work at the bank. Yeah. Uh, you like? You study finances? Yeah. Which degree? Bachelor? Yeah, bachelor. Well, nice to see you. And uh, I will just walk. Okay. If um, I, where are you from? I'm from Texas. Texas? USA? Yeah. Okay. 
Texas is south? Yeah, south. Yeah. You have uh, Arkansas, New Mexico, mm -hmm. Louisiana, cheese. and Texas is... <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what does cheese mean? Good boy. School? You? Come from school? Yes. Ah. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Mongolia. <laughs> yeah, look at this boy here. He's asking me where I'm from. That's really good. So you you think you do you do finances your entire life? You do finances entire life? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> ah. Finance, here they pay good? Uh, yes, it's a good. It's a, uh, yeah, no more. It's not you support, You support mama and your parents? You can talk about Mongolia without talking about the Prius. This car here, everywhere, they're number one. You will get them everywhere. You see, this is the second one. This is the third. And that is the fourth. So, <laughs> you won't miss them here. Why, the guy was telling me yesterday that the reason why they have uh, a lot of Prius here is because they are cheaper and easy to fix and reliable, gas saver. So, U.S. Army, you, 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 yeah, come and take a picture with you, me and you picture, here, here, yeah, me and you, here. Come, me and you take picture. This guy here, he has a US, look at this here. <laughs> you have, uh, you, you be in America? He has a US Army. So you, you? I think in Grad, then Grad. You? I think he's saying that he served for US or probably for their country. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think what we're gonna go next is that building there. Mongolian stock of change. So that's where they sell the stock, possibly, inside this building here. I think they'll have people cross. That police is tall. Man, look at that police there, behind me. So this lady here is selling. And you have a... Chinggis Kang there. What is this place here? Museum? Museum. 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 Big one. Oh, oh, that's a museum. And this? This is a A square. This is the Mongolian parliament. Oh. Mongolian parliament. Oh, parliament. Yes, parliament. Okay. Wow. Good, good. Next. <laughs> you go to school? 
Where? School. Here? Yeah. You speak English? Yeah. How you say how you say little in Mongol Mongol? Ja. Little. Huh? Ja. Jo. Ja. Me Mongol Jo. No. Zero. How you say zero? Tick. Hmm? Tick. Tick. Tiku and Jo. Small is small is what again? Chicho. Chicho. Chicho? Chichik. 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 And the zero is. <laughs> well, it, I, I think the language is close to Russia, so <laughs> it's it's really hard to pronounce their language. And how you say, G Chinggis Khan, Chik? I would say his name, Han, right? Chinggis Chinggis Khan, Han. Chinggis Han. Han. <laughs> Chinggis Han. You three, you will be on YouTube. I took your video. You will be here. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> that language is very, very hard. Hard, not hard for Russian or for people from Kazakhstan or somewhere. But I'm gonna go see what they're doing here. So there are a lot of people here. I think they are visitors. Oh, it's basketball competition. Wow, it looks like a basketball competition, eh? So behind me here, what you see is the parliament. And uh, I don't know who are these people here coming. They're just wearing a really blue gorgeous dress there I don't know where they're going just gonna look through look how beautiful they are Oh, look at that grammar there. I think these kids here, they're passionate more about basketball. And I want to see who are the best between them and the Philippines. Where I go, I like doing competition. I don't know about the here because I'm still learning about this country and their culture. So that I'm not breaking any rule or tradition. So, but looks like these guys here are passionate about basketball. And probably the guy in orange t-shirt with an umbrella, he's... Uh, is a coach probably? Let's see. I'm gonna go around here and be curious as much as I can. Look at this water play here. Ah.
So they're watching, uh, there's a screen here, but they have their own basketball there. I'm not sure if they're the one who are those here. Probably they're the one who are playing and uh, watching on the screen. Here. Let me see if I can go inside there. I want to try to see if I can go inside. Can I go inside? Yeah. Ticket. ticket where? Where? Ticket. Where? There? Shopping. Shopping ticket. Oh. What is going on? They told me I should buy the ticket. But the problem is to know where to buy the ticket. That's the problem. They just told me somewhere there. Where you buy the ticket? This? Yeah. They told me here. <laughs> to buy the tickets. So I think I think the place where you can buy the ticket is here. Ticket. Ticket. How much? Uh, 15,000 and 40,000. 40,000? Yeah. For how long? Yeah. How many games? Who are playing? Ah, oh, they have like international schedule. Wow. I think I want to watch Hungary, Benin, Ukraine, Austria, Egypt, Algeria, Benin, Ukraine.
Uganda. The statute itself is is very big, and uh, you can see him there. And the Kanaman is king, so. He's a very important guy in this country. When you're talking about him, people see commitment, bravery, and the other thing is he was raised by a single mother, like me. So, but him is very high. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he has a really good history of life, and I think many people are learning from him. It's a great experience, yeah great experience of life if you follow his path from the birth until he died it's just um, a big commitment there will be some controversial about his uh, behaviors or about his but now I think they are knowing that he uh, is the monument of their country So I just made this coincidence here in uh, the capital city center. There is a FIBA that is going on under 23 and it's the World Cup here in Oland Batar. I have no idea why they choose this, but I'm pretty sure I heard that there are a lot of kids here and the youth and also the government is kind of investing a lot in the basketball practices. So. I think this is a great opportunity from Mongolia and uh, people in Mongolia they they can be tall so I think uh, I was talking with their coach who is a Canadian guy and he's saying that they are really he likes how they are more encouraged by the government and supported by different uh, people because they want their team to progress and they have a tall people Mongolians are a little bit different from other side of Asia because they have a tall, tall people, like a real tall. So when their team is playing as well as part of this. So I think I will come to watch if I have time, but I'm going to look for food first. Before everything, I want to look for food because I'm hungry. So these, are, these are from Benin. And they're under 23. Are you guys doing okay? We're you think you, you, you're trying? We're doing okay. Okay. We're trying. I'm pretty sure that Benin is the best. Benin is the best? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Okay. Et je parle français aussi. Et venez d'où? Je viens de Texas. Ah, bien. Oui, ça va? Ça va et vous? Pas bien. Je ne savais pas si. Mais comment vous avez pris le, le français? Vous avez pris le français à Texas? Ou en voyage Non, 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 je suis, je suis, je suis né au, en Afrique, au Burundi. Ah, au Burundi, d'accord, oui. Je suis né au Burundi. Ok, vous avez... Euh, et vous avez les Kenyans ici aussi, n'est-ce pas Le Kenya et l'Ouganda. Oh, le Kenya et l'Ouganda. Ah. Et l'Algérie. L'Egypte. Et l'Egypte. Ah, ok. Ah. Il faudrait prendre mon enfant aussi, il peut jouer pour vous. Ah ouais Ah bah, il est bienvenu. Il est, il est bienvenu Il est bienvenu. <rire> Il a 20, 20 ans maintenant. Il joue stoppé ouais. puisqu'il fait euh, les études médicales. Ah, d'accord, ok. Ouais. Et vous ne pouvez pas mélanger les deux, ah, c'est très ouais, difficile. Oui. Alors, ouais. bonne chance. Merci. Oui, bonne chance. Ah. Et vous jouez quand euh, euh, Les garçons demain. Demain ouais. Ok. Les filles Les filles vont jouer aujourd'hui, on a perdu euh, contre euh, la Hongrie. Ok. 5, on, a, on a perdu d'un point contre. Euh, 
Oh, vous jouez demain. Demain, je quitte. Oh. Ah, dommage. Ah. Okay. These guys are from Netherlands. The orange, my favorite color. Yeah. And Egypt. Egypt there. Hello. Ah. Good luck, guys. Thank you, my man. Mm -hmm. So those are Egyptians. And also they have their, their grozy from Egypt. Yeah. So just talk with the Benin. You know, <laughs> a little bit of bias, just a little. Just talk with the Benin team. They lost against the Hungary, the, the female. So tomorrow the boys are playing. And they're su surprised to hear that I'm talking French. And they say, did you learn that French from Texas? No, not from Texas. Yeah. And these are from Mongolia. And they're the host. Yeah. And all of them are staying in that hotel there. Well, I wish I could watch some of the games. I think they're playing this afternoon. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch that. But hopefully, Mongolia is going to take this cup. Hopefully. Maybe. Just a wish. And the cup can stay here. So, this is the FIBA 20, under 23. the other guys there. Netherlands and Italy. You a vlogger? And these oh, are, man, these are folks from Netherlands. I yeah, used bro. I used to like your team, especially the food. The said, soccer. Used to like, why, why used to like, bro? Well, oh. you know, the brain all the time will shift. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. like these guys like are from US. Wow. Now you like USA? Yeah, you are? He's, no, nah, he plays, definitely he, he, not he from plays in USA. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Where are you from? Bro? He's from US. Uh, from Texas. Texas? He's yeah. Texas. Where, where Texas? You? Ah, he plays no, I play, in Texas. I play Texas. Where? In, uh, close to Dallas. Close to Dallas. So I'm uh, two hours south of Dallas, is it? And uh, one hour north of Austin. Ah. It's a little town called the Temple, close to Waco. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Man, what yeah. are you doing in Mongolia, bro? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I like uh, taking like maybe uh, 20 days out of my work uh, in March, February and March, and uh, August and September, I go somewhere. Yeah, this is my 18th country. 18th? Yeah. You been to Italy? I don't want to go to Europe. Man. I don't want to go to nice Europe. To you, bro. Nice to I don't want to go to Europe. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. People from home. Abarizenu. What's up? Wazima? Good. Ah, those are Kenyans. Ah. So, I was talking with the... Uh, the coach from uh, the guy who's coaching the Mongolia team, he say that they're doing well and looks like the kids here they like. And it, Mongolia are tall. You see how tall they are? They are tall. So they can do well in basketball. Mongolia basketball team. So they are, you, you can find a tall Mongolia. Like that girl is tall. <laughs> that Mongolia girl. Yeah, Mongolian. They're different a little bit from other surrounding Asian country. A guy was telling me probably they have the Russian gene, possibly. So I don't want to cross. I want to wait for these people to cross and they will just follow them. Yeah. I will follow you to be safe. Yeah. Yeah, crossing here can be a little bit hard. You just follow the locals. <laughs> so, what we can do? Let's go watch. Yeah, there. I was not allowed to take my camera and a fever. And then those guys there, they helped me to put in the car. This is just for testimony purposes. I just leave my camera. <laughs> I leave my camera here. Yeah. 
because I'm not allowed to take camera inside. So I leave my camera in this car. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't think that Italy will stand in front of New Zealand because they are beating them terribly.
and then I entered there with all the cameras. So they good people. And my cameras were safe. <laughs> they are really good people. Bye. <laughs> The guy there who is doing a really tough job, like uh, directing all these cars here, it's not really easy. He's doing a really tough job. Look, I know some of them, they don't just probably understand, but he's really doing a tough job. And they have an electric bus too. So all those there, they are waiting for him to direct them. And he has a baton. And this is like the city center, so I, it's not easy. And you know, as I said, I kept mentioning this city is so, so busy, very busy city. And especially the traffic. Now he let them go. I think there might be an accident there. You see there. And at the Prius, Prius, Prius. <laughs> Everywhere. And that is the towing car. It's coming to tow them. And then I'm on a cross here. I'll follow this guy. Yeah, I think they're they're trying to tow that car at the previous day. Very cute towing car. So I think because of uh, the traffic, you can imagine next thing is how is the parking look here she's got a stack because she need to park but the traffic going around here will hardly allow her to do even the parallel parking that's why people parking is very hard i don't know what smell i'm smelling i don't know it smells like a manure or i don't know exactly what is that but Look, she's parallel parking here, and that's where you see the advantage of having a Prius because it's smaller and it's easy to park. She's done. And those people, because of parking, they already damaged the sidewalk there. You hear about congested? Yes, this place here is so congested. If the car blocks here, how people are gonna cross? Look at that guy there, he's breaking the rule. Crossing with his bike. That's really cool. Just check there. Now it's green, I think it's 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds to cross. But there are some cars already on the cross. On the, the, the zebra crossing there. Wow, look at that. Ulan Bata. 
small city but congested everyone want to live here and when i mean on everyone is every mongolian they want to live here because that way they can find school and work yeah see like this young kid here hello hi you speak english how is he how is he little in mongol little how you say little back back B A K. B A K. Say it again slowly. Baka. 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 Baka means small. Yeah, little. Okay, little. How about zero? If you wanna say, I don't know anything like a zero. Zero. Mitiko. Yeah. How you say zero? No, you know zero in a in a Mongol. Yeah. Tick. 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 Yeah. Tick means zero. Me Mongol tick. Yeah, I came here to to meet good people. Look at that guy. It's like what's happening there? This guy. This guy. Just came from nowhere. I'm sorry. I want to capture the lady who is coming there behind. She's dressing up with this, I think it's a Mongolia traditional dress. There she is there. I think it's a Mongolia traditional dress. But I'm gonna follow them. Then I'm gonna cross too. I'm gonna follow them. India? <laughs> no, Africa? You're thinking I'm from India. <laughs> you think I'm from India? No. No, 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 no. Africa? No. Try two more, then I will tell you. Two more? Yeah. Okay. Try two more. America, yeah? Yeah, I'm from America, Texas. Oh, America. Yeah. From Texas. You're in Utah? Yeah. I'm from Texas, and uh, you, you're gonna be in my YouTube. Oh, okay. How much subscribes in your? YouTube? You can check when you have time. Take, a, take a picture. Take a picture on my back. <laughs> when you have a load, check. Oh, okay. So what do you do here? Uh, I'm studying. Study. What are you studying? In German. German. Yeah, I'm learning German language. Why German? You want to no. go to live in Germany? Yeah. You like I Germany? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I like cars. I like German cars. Oh. <laughs> huh. I don't know German. You don't know? No. Oh. You America? Yeah? And which city? I live in Texas. I live in Texas? Oh. Yeah. But I, uh, I've, I've never been to Germany, and I don't want to visit Germany. Oh. I don't. <laughs> Maybe one day. I, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm feeling like I would rather visit uh, Ulan Bator. Oh, there's a guy there. So you are which grade now? Um, Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Oh, you're still young. You're very tall. Oh, thank you. You're okay. still very young. Why you can study science? If you want to go to Germany well or to America well, study science, biology. Ah, biology? Yeah. No, I... Biology will take you everywhere in the world. No, I don't think so. Why? Why I... you don't like biology? My biology is very bad. Very good? Very hard? No, very bad. Bad? My biology is, bio uh, biolo biology is for uh, only doctors. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be a doctor? No, I want to be... Uh, IT? I, yeah, IT or... Uh, how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, all kids here, and I saw that in the Philippines too, all kids, they want to do IT, IT, IT. <laughs> when you talk to them about biology, they feel like IT a monster. But biology is good. So boys here are like vaping a lot. 
and it's growing even in the room there where we're sitting we could see some people in uh watching basketball the guy was sitting next to me and he was just vaping yeah look at this guy hello <laughs> Yeah, you are you are vaping, vaping, good. <laughs> yeah. So they, I think they are having a lot of uh, customers of selling the the vape cigarette here. Look at this place here. It's beautiful. And now it turned to a vaping area. Look, those boys there, they're having fun. Wow. Closing time. Yeah, that Mongolian guy is trying to do look at this Wow You know what I'm hungry now I'm gonna look a place where to go to eat They say this is like a mall there. I don't know if they have food. So you will not miss this place here Some people recommended me that's where you can get like a Mongolian food Yes, I ate. I went to the village to eat some, but they say that when you're in Olan Batar, you will not miss this. It, it's close to this place here. I think it's a, a theater where you can hear like a old, like all the musics, Mongolian cultural music. But this is the place here, so I'm gonna go inside there and try to find their traditional food. So this is what I'm, I want to get this one here. And uh, probably I'm going to get rice. So we're going to start with uh, this here. They call it Borsuk. Borsuk. I think I'm saying it correctly. Borsuk. A little bit sounds Russian, kind of. And they have uh, the milk. And I'm going to see the differences. And this looks like a, a donut, kind of. And of course, different from the one I, I had from the one uh, and the, that one was kind of original. But I think what you do, you dip. You dip? Yeah. I dip a new one. <laughs> so you, you kind of dip. And then what yeah. yogurt? Yogurt? Yeah. It tastes like it. Not not the same one in the, my aunt's. That's called urum. This is not urum. Oh, this is not urum. Oh. I think this is a different milk, milk product. It's called zoki. 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 Yeah. Ah. So do they put salt in this? Or yeah, salt. Or put salt? Yeah. So the milk, they put salt in it. Your aunt didn't put salt. Was she, it? She put salt, but a little bit. A little this bit. one is too much. Yeah. yeah, you know, <laughs> it tastes really good, but there is always differences when you go in businesses and you eat you eat local. But I like recommending a lot when you want to have something like original, go local. Like where we went yesterday to Bawara's and it's the, the milk is really different. Even these uh, little donuts there, 
way, way different. But the... Yeah. Is this rice? This is rice. This is rice? Yeah. Looks beautiful. And the meat is that uh, dried meat I mentioned. Oh. And uh, what you got there? Just uh, bake, the bacon, just the uh, pig meat. With the pork? Pork, yeah, pork, yeah, pork. And is it like a rib or is um, it like a rib? I think it's just uh, just a meat. Okay. No rib. Okay. And you have vegetables. And what is that in the middle? Uh, so mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed potatoes. Uh, and rice. And rice, I think. Is mashed potatoes Mongolian? Uh, Culture to, to eat much? No. Okay. We imported from the other countries. Yeah. That. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, but you must not give us that. How did you get it? Yeah, man. Ah, you know how you get it? You get it from Japan. 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 Ah, they tell you one thing you probably forgot. Ah, they they thought you ordered two sets. That's because oh. you can order it by uh, one by one. So he thought he's the order. No. Two we sets. can get one set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have a tea here. Um, and the tea is a salty. First time in my life. Okay, they say you can just return it. Oh, okay. Good. Remind me again, they call it what? For sure. For sure. For sure. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. And how, how you use the soup, the sauce here? You dip? You, you yeah, you just uh, like, take the it and then you dip it. Okay. Yeah. Whatever, way, whatever way you like. Because she likes it, we're gonna let her try. Okay. And then I will learn from her. Okay. Because she likes it. Show me how, how you eat it, then I will eat it. Yeah. Oh, with the pork. Okay. I, I eat it with pork. With the pork? I just dust it. Like, instead of like um, doing Okay, I just fold it three times. Fold it three times. Yes, this is. It's hot. And then just poke okay, it. And then this, I just eat it like this. Oh, like that. So how about the sauce? Dip. Um, just you can just dip it like Dip, okay. Oh. It's hot. Okay, it's hot, but inside here, it's like a pocket of... Uh, and he put a little bit of scallion there. And he pocketed it with beef. Beef. Super hot. I want to take a break. Usually it hurts. Yeah, this is carrot. What is this type of sauce? Oh! It's a soy sauce. Yeah. Soy sauce. Yeah. It will make you full. One will make you full. I think the meat is kind of a steam, so it's not fried meat. Beef, I think it's very, very soft. You can just pull the bone out. And you have this. Look how the bone comes. Very clean. It's fatty. I think Mongolian, I had the reason why they, they eat fatty food is because of uh, maybe cold. It may be cold here, so they try to eat fatty food. Just eat the fire pad. Because this is very, very soft and it's a beef. And this one, I think I'm going to eat it wild. Uh, look how the bone is gonna come out. Look. 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 That's how well cooked it. The bone just dropped. 
The tender part. And then their beef they raised with the pasteurized. So they don't feed them what you may think. Because yesterday we saw where the raising is like an open field. They go and they're very smart, they know the time to come back home. the Brooklyn. So now heading to the hotel after a long, long day. What is this? It is 2000. You get to your weight there. I'll worry for her just to support her because she's doing good work. I'm not going to to wait myself, but yeah, with you, my oh, friend. Sure, oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Here, here, here. Hey. <laughs> so I just want to support her. The money is very complicated. Two. So she's asking a two thousand. That is uh, one dollar is a three thousand. So maybe so I can support her. I'm just, she's waiting for more.